Hi everybody, Sasha here, January 10th, 2012, almost 12 o'clock in the afternoon, for TTMT number 20. I have made it to 20 so far, I have not missed a single week. So, I'll just get right into stuff um, that I did. I didn't really do a whole lot when it came to projects, two things, that's about it. But, um, let me reach back here. Uh, I asked my mom if she had any books for, like, Amigurumis and, um, if she knew where her Crowbots book was. Now, Crowbots is just a book of 20 different Amigurumi robots that you can make. It's by Nelly something or other. I have no idea how to pronounce her na last name. I don't want to destroy it. But, here it is. There's quite a few robots in it. You've got the you've got Wheeler, you've got Thinker, Cat Bot, Girly Bot, tons of them. And I don't remember what this one was called. I just skimmed through and saw ones that I liked. But here are some more of them. I'm trying to get rid of that glare. I can't stand it. But I look through, I find found a few that I would like to do. One of them's a zombie. I can't find it anymore. I lost the bookmark. But there's quite a few. Okay, here we go. There's zombie bot. I'm actually going to do it in a different color, like a sickly green instead of the white speckle. But this speckled yarn that I did get is obviously green but so I figured last night I'd make one of them it calls for a C2 needle and a it's white yarn but I decided to do orange and instead of burgundy I did black and I'll show you what one I did do so you kind of get an idea of what it was supposed to look like but I decided to change it up a bit this is Thinker. It's supposed to be he, looks more like a she, so I will call it a she. I don't care what they say. So I actually did that last night. And this is how it turned out. I actually think it looks really cute. My mom loves it. And she wants to make one. So that's one thing that I did do. And other than that, I have one more thing to show, but not just yet. That'll be my grand finale. I do want to show you a few things that my mom has made me over the past few years that she got into Amigurumi's. Very first ones I got, I don't know what they're called. They kind of remind me of weird little rabbits, but uh, move it that way. There we go. There's those two. She made them for me because I really love them and I wasn't doing crocheting at the time it was years ago that I actually did some crocheting and then never finished and we found a pattern on crochet pattern central of the Mario mushroom and she made me one of them after she made herself one so there he is little dark blue spots and everything googly eyes it's kind of hard to see and she I don't know if this is knit I think it's knit because of the way that it looks of this it, I think it's like a fairy or something like that it's just a little lady she made me that when she was starting out with knitting um I don't know how long ago, I just found this recently in my closet, along with a few other things. But she made me a change pouch, blue with a little black button. Well, actually, it's a big black button, but it looks really small on here. I've got a ton of bracelets on. I recently found some, and I found one that my mom had made me. She still has to make me the other one for the other wrist just beads and I don't know if that's crocheting or what but she did that for me 
and I don't know, I don't remember if she showed you this one, but it's a friendship bracelet. She made that and she decided to give it to me. Most recent things that she made me. Um, everybody who knows Harry Potter knows Pygmy Puffs. We just finished putting the feet, the eyes, and the nose on. I'm sorry to say, we don't have safety eyes and we don't have the safety noses, so we had to improvise. First, we were going to do button eyes. It didn't really look right. So, we decided to do googly eyes. And since we didn't have the safety nose, we just did pom poms. So, I'm going to show you the one that she made me because I can't use the yarn. I could probably do the pattern, I just can't use the yarn. Very, very fuzzy yarn. I'm not used to it. But, you know, get your face in there. There we go. This is the Pygmy Puff. It would look a little better with the safety eyes and nose, but hey, it still looks cute nonetheless. I decided for two different colored eyes, red and green, and uh, I'm guessing that's purple with like red fuzzy for pom-pom. And you can't see the feet right now, but if you flip it, there's its little feet, Alan which is my youngest brother said so they look like duck feet but it's pretty cute so there's that and my mom got into making these things called grumpies they're supposed to take your grumpies away and she's made quite a few as she'll show you in her video but I figured you know, she could make me one. She needed something to do last night, so I asked her if she could make me one. I could do one on my own, but, you know, just to keep her a little busy so she's not bored when she's got nothing to do at work. So, I got to pick out the colors. Originally, it's supposed to be white with another color on the bottom and then whatever colored hair. I wanted an alien. So I decided to, I asked her if I could do black on top, well, black on the bottom, excuse me, duh, and green on the top with black hair. And this is what a grumpy is. A little tiny thing. Not even as big as the palm of my hand, as you can see. And my hand's pretty big crocheted um if you want the pattern we actually do have the link for it so if you want a message or comment i will i could put the link in for you but it's just two big buttons um regular red heart yarn it's just little piggy tails there I thought it turned out pretty well. It's really cute. It's not very squishy, but I don't think I want to squish it. It's meant more for taking your grumpies away, putting a smile on your face when you see it. So she's really cute. So I think that's really about it to show right now for what my mom made. I do have quite a few other things around the house that she did make me. But now I'm going to get on with the grand finale of my video. As you all know, I've been working on Totoro. Um, didn't get a whole lot of progress done aside from I think it was 30 rows or something like that the last time I did my video. Well, I finished the body, I did the two ears, one arm, and the tail. I finished that all on Friday, I do believe, because I didn't have work Friday, so I had something to do. I stuffed the body. I didn't stuff the arms or anything at the time because I would much rather wait until it's time to do that, but I did have to stuff the body to finish it. And then Saturday, I did the eyes. I did stuff a little bit differently because they're telling you to chain however many in work however many single crochets in the first stitch so I just did the opposite I did the magic ring method 
and worked my way from there. My mom said that it was just to create the effect that they wanted, but I thought mine actually turned out a little bit better than the one that I found. So I finished the stomach, the two eyes, the outer eyes at least, and the other arm. And then I stuffed everything, start putting it all together, and I actually thought it turned out much better than the one that was shown on the website. Because I used the darker blue, Windsor blue, because, you know, he doesn't really look too light in the movie, so they used a bit too light of a blue, so he'll... He says hi. He's pretty big. His body's actually bigger than my head. And my head's pretty big. But this is him. Upside down V's according to the website. I could have done those a little bit better, but, you know, I'm just starting out. I did the button eyes like my mom has with the grumpies because we don't have safety eyes. And you can barely see the nose. He's going to get a close-up. But that's all that there is for the nose. There is stitching on the arms. But you can't really see it too well. So. I thought he turned out really well. I do plan on making the small, what they call, white Totoro. It looks like a little white rabbit. And there's a few other things that I'm planning on making, if anybody knows Invader Zim and Gur, I can actually show you the dog form of Gur, but unfortunately I can't find a crochet pattern for him. That's Gur, if, ever, if anybody knows. So I actually found a pattern for the robot version of him, so I actually bought the yarn for that, I can do that. That can be one of my projects that I have to complete. And I also found the moose from Invader Zim. So, do those. I still have to work on my brother's bears. He might not get those until his birthday, which is in July. So I would have to finish those in June. Or even earlier. Um, I still have the trick-or-treater. Which, that will be my October. Since October 31st is the last day of October. So... But what I plan on doing is I've definitely got to finish the ornaments for the wall hanging because that's our January UFO. So I think I'm going to get those done. I still have the t-shirt that I started. I have to find a stencil for the letters. But aside from that, that's all I really have to show you right now. Hopefully I can get some more stuff done for next Tuesday. But I hope everybody has a wonderful week, weekend, crafty week at that. And I hope to see you all next week. Bye.